Welcome to another episode of Adventure Sphere. Today I'll be covering John True Scott Haynes, a man missing from Netherland, Colorado. But first, become part of our family by subscribing to our channel, stay up to date by ringing the notification bell, and share our content to help spread awareness of how we can help recover missing loved ones free of charge. You never know who may see it, how hurt their heart may be if their family is incomplete, or how you may be a hero to them. Information shared in this episode is open sourced. The places I mention are shared with my blessing so John can be reunited with his family regardless who higher powers work through. It could be us or another dive team. The description box has our email address. If you'd like to share insight on any cold case confidentially, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from a starting point theory or known location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles from home, their last cell phone ping, last known location, and sentimental sites where water is deep enough to hide a vehicle. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. John Truscott Haynes, then 18, is missing from Netherland, Colorado. His last date of contact was Friday, July 24th, 1981. John arrived in Boulder, Colorado in late July to enroll at a, as a student at the University of Colorado. He was last seen at a 7-Eleven convenience store in the vicinity of 28th Street and Baseline in Boulder. He was driving a beige two-door hatchback 1981 Subaru 100 series with California plates 1CPK105. The Boulder County Sheriff's Office can be reached at 303-441-3600. John's birth date is December 21st, 1962. He would be 59 today. John moved from, well, he was born in Orinda, but he moved from San Francisco, California to Boulder for college. He arrived July 22nd and called his dad the 23rd for money and promised to keep in touch. He called a friend on the 24th and then after that wasn't heard from again. On, let's see here, a couple of days later on Sunday, July 26th, a sheriff's deputy saw John's car off of a small county road in Netherland, Colorado. The windows were rolled down, even though it was raining. Since John wasn't reported missing until August 10th, police had no reason to be suspicious about the vehicle and didn't pick it up. A few days later, when the police arrived to where his car was, it was gone. John and his vehicle haven't been located since. On the way from San Francisco to Boulder, John picked up a hitchhiker, Danny Torres, who said that he was heading to Boulder, that um, John was planning to go to Boulder to buy marijuana. The hitchhiker, hitchhiker isn't a suspect, but police now believe uh, drugs may have played a factor in his disappearance. Others believe he may have just had an argument with the supplier and was murdered. Others think that he joined a religious cult that was active in the area during that time. However, there is no uh, proof to support the theory of being in a cult, religious cult. Uh, John's father sought to have him legally declared legally dead in 1982, about a year after his disappearance. It was granted in 1983. John's sister, however, is still looking for him. His social security number was used in California in the late 1990s, but after investigating it, it ended up being just a clerical error. Some of John's friends think that he staged his disappearance, and others believe that he wouldn't have left his family the way that he did. Uh, let's see here. So he spent his first night in Boulder at a KOA campground. He asked 
when he had called his dad the first day, he had asked for money until the dorms were opened. And that was like a week later, if I remember right. His father told him to open a P.O. box so he could send the money. Then John called him the next day and gave him the address. When he made that call, he was at that 7-Eleven convenience store. Uh, Let's see here. His father is James Haynes, who is an attorney. The areas I would like to search, the predominant one I think we're going to have the best luck at would be the Barker Reservoir Recreation Area. It's just at the very south end of town. It's the biggest water body out there. I would also like to look and see. I need to track down the county road number that he his vehicle was on. If there is water near that, it might be a higher probability of his car being in that general area. I'd also like to look at South Boulder Creek, Snowline Lake, Peterson Lake, Silver Lake, Glacier Lake, Manchester Lake. There's a cluster of lakes called Los Lagos, but I believe there's only one, maybe two of the lakes there that are um, adjacent to a road. And then there's a lake at Beaver Creek and finally Mud Lake. If you like this episode and haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Give our video a thumbs up and share the movement with those you influence. Feel free to send us an email for equipment donations, cold case information, and if you know a mini- missing person and would like them featured on our channel. You are all so great at helping me grow this channel. Truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you. 100% of donations received stay in the organization to purchase sonar equipment and other necessities that will help families and the environment for years to come. Your contributions from subscribing, watching our content, liking and sharing to financial support make it possible to offer our services free of charge. I've been getting emails from a few families of missing people who thought their loved ones were forgotten but they see the movement. Just please know that ultimately I want to live a road warrior lifestyle with my boyfriend. We'll reunite families with their missing loved ones. We're planning to spend our summers in the northern states and our winters in the southern states, so we're always moving and helping families. Our first giveaway will occur when we reach 300 subscribers. It's just probably going to happen here before the end of the month. Immediate donation links are in the description. Kickstarter and GoFundMe campaigns are coming soon. The video will play so you can see the entire search area. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you. Mm -hmm.